Yeah, there it goes. Hey, I'm Shreya. I'm Colin of Lay Roots. Yeah, this is the Lawyer Human Daily. Yeah, we're trying to to feed in some music there. How about that? Getting all fancy today. Yeah, so fancy. And speaking of not being fancy, mm. interesting thing I read today, Shreya Lay. Okay. They have a, a law firm now inside of Walmart stores. A law firm? Yeah. Okay. It's some law firm who's in a bunch of Walmarts in Missouri and some other state. Oh, Texas. Oh, well, you know, I have to say it sounds kind of ingenious if that's your target market. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. And it reminded me. Yes. Of, well... I mean, so basically that's going to be what we call a document factory. Yes. Cranking out kind of cheap, high volume um, estate plans. Sure. Uh, that's one thing they do. Maybe other documents also. Yeah. I think they're fishing mostly for personal injury and disability mm. and bankruptcy. Maybe and one day they will be replaced by a robot. Maybe so. But it reminded me of a conversation I had the other day. Okay. With a new client. Mm -hmm. And she had done some estate planning before. Okay. Five or six years ago at one of these kind of drive in, pop in document shops okay. for estate planning. Awesome. How did that turn out for her? Well, I'm glad you asked, Shreya. <laughs> it didn't work out very well. So when I took a look at the document, I said, okay, so blah, 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 this is what happens if basically your grandkids would get cut out of receiving anything mm -hmm. if this circumstance happened. Is that what you wanted? And she's like, yeah, I hate those grandkids. They're no, terrible. She, she didn't. <laughs> uh, she didn't want them to be cut out. But, you know, that was the thing she got. Um, so I think I wrote in the comment there, one size fits all is not always fit all yes yeah and what's strange is i don't think that would be the normal one size fits all i think one size right. fits all is your grandkids don't get cut out yeah i would think that would be the default is that the grandkids so this was like things. reverse one size fits all yeah so let me look at the Those let me look at the board ingredients. here yeah <laughs> anyway so it wasn't what she wanted and it just reminds me of this point that I keep wailing on. Yeah. Harping on. Grinding on. Sure. <laughs> is that... Do you know what it is? What is it? What's the thing I always rail about? Is that you don't know if it's going to work when you do it that way until it's too late. That is one of the things. <laughs> um, it's that estate planning is not just about the documents. Right. That's, I feel like with all of our technology that, and, and the internet, I blame you, internet, um, that estate planning is now just considered the documents and how easy it can be to get the documents. Go online, fill well, out some forms and you get documents. All that people, especially if they've never hired an attorney, that's all that they know about is documents. But the thing you always see on TV, mm -hmm. in the movies, you know, somebody gets their their terminal illness diagnosis mm -hmm. and they say, you better get your affairs in order. Yes. And I feel like that was the more traditional approach of estate planning was get your affairs in order. Okay, but I think people don't realize what that means. And they're like, what does that mean? That sounds so overwhelming. Oh, it must just be this document power of attorney thing. Right. Because they just don't know any better. And we're here educating them, Colin. That's what we're doing right yeah. now. So let me tell you, it's not just about the documents. It's about planning on getting organized so that when, when, Something happens to you. Your family will know what to do. They'll know where your stuff is. They'll know where you own things. They'll know where 
and who to turn to. Yeah. To make their lives easy. Because if all you've got is a and stack you're giving of, them some um guidance on who can make decisions and Exactly. And so just just the stack of documents doesn't do that for you. Um they need to know what to do and where to go. Yeah. And then sometimes it's memorialized in a document, but what those document factories don't do is delve into those conversations of, with the person of like, who do you really want to make these decisions? And this is the impact of making this decision and explaining that sort of stuff. That's true. That can avoid some, some arguments as well. Yes. Some interfamily fighting. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, beyond the documents, you want to get organized with your online accounts, yeah. your offline accounts, you know, where your money is. Um, who takes you, over your Facebook? Facebook? Uh, yeah. Who takes over your Facebook? How to get into the safety deposit box? Yeah. All those things. So knowing where all those things are and how to get access to them, that can make an estate plan really sail. Yeah. Well, thanks, Colin. So let's sail off into the rest of our day. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. And peace out. Yes. Oh, I'll do some outro music. There we go. Find the button. Uh,